Damari, what have you seen just from early tape and Bijan Robinson and what makes him such a special runner as just a rookie? Um, he got all the tools. Uh, I think he can be a really dynamic runner for a long time. Um, great speed, quickness, power, can do it all. Um, run, block, catch pass out the backfield. Um, you know, I think he just has all the makings to be a, an, an elite weapon for a long time. Knowing that you guys are getting Desmond Ritter instead of Taylor Heineke on Sunday, how does does the preparation change at all? Knowing the two different styles of quarterback, uh, a, a little bit different styles, but you know, kind of if you look at the tape, they've been asked to do the same things. Both of them uh, can expand, stay in plays with their legs. Um, both of them are smart players. Um, both of them are rhythm players. Keep the offense on track, um, and so it's definitely going to be a, a, a good challenge for us. Uh, we know that um, you know Ritter, Ritter can 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 run run pretty well, um, and so I think that's the challenge of being able to week to week stop these quarterbacks who can extend plays with their legs. Do you feel like you guys were able to maybe address that this week on the bye week and take a closer look at that? Why you guys have haven't been able to stop mobile quarterbacks? Um, I think at the end of the day, you're just trying to find a way to limit the offense offenses. Um, you know, schematically, offenses are, are, are finding ways to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. Um, you know, they do a good job of, you know, uh, rolling rolling their quarterbacks out. Um, it's not always just, um, you know, zone reads or quarterback runs. Um, you know, and so you got to find ways to limit them. I think uh, getting off the field uh, early in the game helps. I think creating third and long situations help. Um, and then taking the ball away, you know, makes them a little more hesitancy. And, uh, you know, week to week is different. And uh, we got to, I know at this time of year, it's about playing your best football, and that's what we got to find a way to do. How do you feel like your run defense is doing against running backs? Like teams like Atlanta, that you know you're probably going to see 20 plus running back touches from this team. Where, where, what do you think is the state of your run defense against, against that? I think we've done a, um, a really good job on, as far as our run defense, um, other than quarterbacks. Um, and I think that's just the type of game that you play now. Um, you can have a really good game defensively, but it doesn't look like that statistically because you gave up, you know, three or four explosive plays just because offenses can do a good job of creating a one-on-one -on -one matchup or getting a guy um, eyes in the wrong place, and you know they make a you know they make a big play, and and it hurts your whole defense. And I think that's a lot what's happened with us as far as the run game is you know doing great against running backs, but allowing quarterbacks to 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 be able to scramble in, and we got to find a way to get it fixed. But I think that's the level of focus that it requires um, in this game. You know, it, it just requires a, a a great level of detail and, and knowing your assignment and, and being able to do your job at a high level. Are you guys looking at this string of slow starts? Because it's obviously not something you guys have dealt with a lot in the past. And then after it happens a couple of times, like, is there a moment when it became kind of eye-opening, like we need to identify what's, what's leading to the top? No, I think you. it's easy to, to, to create a narrative. Um, every game is different. And um, you got to take the game one by one and play the game that's in front of you. Um, if coincidentally it seems as that's what's going on, you know, some of the games are, are, are starting slow or that's become, you know, a thematic, it can, be, it can become a narrative. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a different set of circumstances, different plays. Um, you know, I think you just find a way to be, be consistent at doing the right thing, and that's what we're trying to focus on. Do you, you think it's not fair to them that this classified as like a slow start issue then? Like, you kind of... I mean, you you can classify however you want to classify it. I just think. So you, like you guys don't don't view it that way is what you're saying. Um, I personally don't. I've never been a narrative person. Um, you know, uh, I think a narrative can be created out of anything, um, and it and it makes a better story to tell. Um, and I think some of the information can be coincidental, um, but every game is different, and uh, it's a different set of plays, it's different players. Um, and so if you were to have, you know, in week one you start slow, in week five you start slow, in week nine you start slow, it wouldn't be a theme of you had slow starts. But you had multiple games with slow starts. But if they're back to back, it's, the story is, oh, you're starting slow. And so I'm just, that's just an example of how narratives can be what's talked about. Um, but I think you're trying to find a way to play your best football. And as long as you're not playing your best football, like we're not stopping 
runs the way we want to. We're not getting off, you know, being efficient in the red zone the way we want to. Um, and one game you can do it, and one game you cannot do it. And you're just trying to figure out how to fix that. And I think that's how you find success is by fear finding the areas that, you, that you're not being as successful in and working on them to make them your strengths. And then if something else happens, do that same process over again. And I think so you have to isolate the issue and just focus where, where you need to focus. You guys technically in the driver's seat. What do you kind of just make of the opportunity you have, especially in this one um, coming up, that if you guys win, you'll be two games up in the division? Um, just... I mean, it's the next game, and it's important that this time of year, anybody who's had – you know, playoff experience or I've been on a contending team, know that every game matters. Every game matters this time of year for everybody. And um, that's our mentality. We know that's going to be their mentality coming in. And, and so it's going to be a dog fight. Um, and when we see when we get inside those lines, we're going to come out on top. Never seen him play against Ryan or Caden, but is it going to be kind of cool to kind of catch up with those guys? Uh, after the game, yeah, I mean, um, Every team that you play, you got guys that you know that you play with on the other side. Could be coaches, could be players. Um, that's the camaraderie of this league. That's the the kind of fraternity that exists, and and why it's such a great game and brotherhood. Um, you know, being in this game 12 years, you you got friends, and some guys feel like family on the other sidelines every game. Um, and so that's just another one.